My name is Padraig Tuma. I'm from Ireland and I'm a poet and a conflict mediator. Formerly I led the Carmela Community, which is Ireland's oldest peace and reconciliation organization. I work with On Being now in poetry and I'm associated with Columbia University Center for Cooperation and Conflict as well. So often language is the thing that can seem flimsy when we're in situations of war, when we're in situations of conflict, the predictability of the escalated violence of language can really be tracked very clearly. And poetry is one of the arts that reminds us what language is capable of doing when it takes a pause, when it uses some moment of surprise to undo, and even more than undo, to create. One of the ways that I've used poetry was with the Karimela community. I would be present um, at dialogues between people who had been re bereaved by murder and really the, the polarization that had happened after those murders was enormous and it had undone years and years and years of coming towards each other. That had all been eroded and shattered really. So I was part of a reparative process. And um, my job was to listen and to facilitate and then during the week in between the sessions to write a poem about what I'd heard and then to come back and submit that poem to the people in the room. And what was fascinating is in looking at how a, a community of people who had lived through terror could shape or reshape or find echo and shelter in a poem. It meant then that there was an ownership of the poem. All those poems then went into publications and exhibitions and everybody brought along 10 or 15 people from their own networks. And there was a way, especially within an Irish culture where poetry has been so much of the lifeblood of being able to explain, that's me and this poem. And as you look at a piece of art, the piece of art looks back. And so there's a, a dynamism created with a text that can be quite different really to um, what a settled negotiation can mean. I think it can be easy to feel in despair um, about what is happening in the world, about um, climate change, about the possibility of change in terms of political dynamics, about polarization, about the escalation of, the, of lying and the abuse of language in public. What I see over and over again is that there are people who are amplifying the possibility of the language of integrity in public. It's artists, it's people who are calling out for integrity, it's people who are calling for reparations, it's people who are calling for change. I see evidence in so many places of people who are saying, look, we might not be able to get all 10 steps about what we want, but we're able to get seven. Let's try with those seven and see what happens.